Minister, maybe the first question is, can you try to uh, clarify it as a sugar a bit late uh -huh. when you were telling uh, the, the developments mm -hmm. that you have uh, lined up some other with. Okay. Uh, I heard you are going to set up a recording studio mm -hmm. uh, and you are going to set up a, a, a station, mm -hmm. is it? Yes. And uh, you can also highlight one, one of the events that will be going on on uh, the Minister Michael Mandela at Fort. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, so this year, uh, 2023, I'll be turning 40 on the 20th of uh, May and um, I'll be celebrating uh, 40 years. Uh, of impact, 40 years of the grace of God. And we have launched a campaign, Minister Michael Minder at 40, uh, and we're going to have a dinner where we are going to invite um, different people from different places, friends, fans, uh, partners, corporates, business people, to be part of it um, in a way of celebrating. We are, the theme is building a heritage of excellence. We want to build um, a state-of-art recording studio uh, where we raise up-and-coming artists and uh, groom them and record music from, from, from that studio uh, with high quality and continue to push the face of Zimbabwe, um, not even just in Zimbabwe but even outside Zimbabwe. And um, God has given us that grace and that opportunity to be uh, recognized outside of this nation and um, this studio is going to help those that are that have it and those that want those who want to pursue such a dream and also we have realized that gospel music is only played on Sundays um, throughout all radio stations I've done my homework well and um, if in, if we when we discuss with fellow gospel artists we realize that we are not getting fair play fair enough play, uh, airplay on radio stations. So the dream and the desire to then have our own gospel radio station that will play our music even on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because gospel music is only played on Sunday as if it's only Sunday music. So that, that's where the passion and the dream and the desire to have a station that operates uh, came from. and. Um, we are doing the best we can and also looking forward to uh, receive favor from the authorities to have uh, that radio station up and running. And also we would like to have sound equipment for our for music concerts. Uh, if you ask every artist right now, the biggest, the biggest budget on any event that you see, it is the sound, the stage and, and, and everything. And that is then hindering us to move freely, even in this nation. <clears throat> I realized this last year when we were doing the Two Blessed Tour. We went to Bindura, we went to Gweru, we went to Chitungwiza. And we realized that um, the greatest or the bigger chunk of the budget is on the equipment, the sound equipment and everything. So uh, we need to eliminate that. And this will enable us to carry other people when we're doing these tours. Uh, when we're doing those tours, we had new faces, new musicians that people saw. Uh, we are not stingy with the platform. We give platform to those that are not known, but we want, to, want it to be easy for us to do so. Whenever we feel like doing something as far as Mzaraban, we can just go with our own equipment and do what we have to do. Um, in all cities and, uh, and, and towns that we're moving in, we will be working with the musicians there, um, mainly the artists there, the groups that are there. We want to raise arts in those cities and in those towns, and that's, that's what we want to do. Hence, um, a campaign, Minister at 40, so on, on Minister Mike, Michael Mahendra at 40, I'm going to record uh, a latest uh, project, um, uh, the volume of classical worship. I'm going to be touching, like the way I touched Maganaga Jesu, the way I touched Tawani Nyasha. I'm going to touch different songs, our own choruses here, our own hymns here. Ana hakuna hamakupinda mamo Jesu, ana Jehovah ibakorangu. You know, some of these songs that have been written 
uh, with our own people here. But I'll give it my own touch and my own feel and um, make sure that we have those songs alive again. They are not supposed to die. If, if you look at it, how I did Makanaka Jesu in 2012, until now it's still alive. But it's not my song. It's our Zimbabwean song, a song that was done by the great uh, brother Sam Kunguta, and it's also a hymn. So that's what we want to do. We want our songs not to die, not to be uh, hidden by other songs. So that's what we're going to be doing on the day. Thank you.